Hey everyone, Lex Vermeulen here. Today I'm gonna to show you how to pack your bike so you can ship it or fly with it safely. For most people, all they're gonna need is a set of Allen wrenches, more specifically the four and the five. So the first step is gonna to be to shift your chain into the smallest cog. That will allow you to take off the wheel. Pedal the bike and shift. Before you take your wheels off, it's important to take your pedals off so you have some leverage. So these pedals use an eight millimeter Allen key on the backside. Some pedals will use a cone wrench right here. Pedals loosen and tighten the opposite direction. So to loosen the right pedal, I'm gonna turn this to the left. Now that the pedals are off, we're gonna deal with the seat, which can get in the way while packing. For the seat, there's a couple different scenarios. The first is that you need to loosen this bolt right here and pull the seat out. Second scenario is like I have here, you have a dropper on your mountain bike. If it gets short enough, you can just put the dropper down. Next step is take your handlebars off. You'll need a four and a five Allen key. So the first step is to loosen this screw on top. You're gonna loosen it all the way and pull it out. Occasionally, you drop your wrench. Next step for the handlebars is loosening these two screws. You do not need to take them all the way out. Now your handlebar should be easy to twist and pull off. It's safe to let it hang. Now to take the wheels off, we're gonna take the back wheel off and then the front wheel. Twist to loosen and then pull out. Now we're gonna take the rear wheel off, start by grabbing the derailleur here where it pivots, and you're gonna push it back and pull the rear wheel out. Couple different scenarios here. Here's a quick and easy maxel, it's called, or a quick, quick release. Occasionally you need a five or a six Allen key, and there'll be a nut right there. Both of them are the same. You twist to loosen the threads, and then you can pull straight out. The front wheel, it's much easier. It'll drop right out, make sure you catch it. Your local bike shop will most likely have leftover bike specific packing material. I recommend that, but otherwise any type of bubble wrap, rags, different things to protect the delicate points are important. Now that everything's bundled up on the bike, I'm gonna show you how to twist the handlebars into position and set the bike inside of a case or inside of your box. The easiest way is to grab here and twist behind so they're kind of in a safe locked position. Make sure to check all of your cable entry points to make sure that nothing is too pulled or cockeyed. So whether you're setting it into a box, putting it into a case. That's what it should look like. Don't forget your pedals and your axles. Easiest place for an axle is back in the bike. As an extra precaution, you can get a brake block or a piece of cardboard to put inside your brake while the rotor's not there. It's important because your brake pads can get stuck together. Last step is pack your wheels. In a box, you just kind of fit them in as you can and make sure that none of these sharp points hit the frame. In my case, I have wheel specific pockets. Now that your bike's packed, whether you're flying or shipping, you can be confident that it will get there safely.